What's up, people? Welcome back. We are going to take a look at Zorin OS 8, the Ultimate Edition. I've had this sitting in my hard drive for the last two weeks, but I caught a cold. Oh, took some medicine, cough medicine hours ago. Feels slightly better, so I'll do my best to um, take a look at this. And this is um, this is by request. I will be uh, not installing this. Don't think it's necessary to do another install tutorial. I'm running this inside a virtual box with uh, Windows 7 as a host. For all you newbies out there, don't worry. I will continue uh, to do install tutorials uh, by request or when I deem necessary. Okay, well, Zorn 8, and really Zorn since the beginning, is really has been one of the premier uh, Linux uh, distributions um, for as long as I can remember, the last three years or so, maybe four years. One of the best in the world, in my opinion, not just for beginners, but really, you know, for anybody who wants to try a Linux-based operating system. Uh, this is meant to work uh, out of the box, according to the website, the Zorn website. This is the gateway to Linux uh, for Windows users and um, one thing I like to do here is move my uh, panel from the bottom to the top but as I stated they like to Zorin likes to uh, present itself as one of the best one of the premier Linux based operating systems for Windows users for beginners and I believe it is well since I'm already in the Avant window navigator settings let's go ahead and take a quick look at this preferences Task Manager, Applets, Themes, and uh, Advanced. Now, this is the Ultimate Edition. This thing is loaded. Uh, there is no way I could show you everything, nor that I am inclined, nor that I am inclined to, in my uh, current uh, medical condition. I'll be okay, but let's go ahead and move on through this. I do like the the ability to right click and add little widgets, applets, as you see here. And you can you know, certainly add uh, anything you want. Uh, let's keep it simple. Let's go to, uh, let's just add this here. Places. And uh, and there you go. Just a little folder right there. All right. Now let's keep on going here and see what we have. We have the home folder. Now this is a click and go as you would in your Windows PC. And you know you have your places here to the left, desktop, documents, so on and so forth. You've seen this before, I'm sure, in both Linux and Windows. You can change the arrangement of the folders. You can have some view options here. Zoom in and out accordingly. And you have a spoke wheel here for some more preferences, options, including preferences, of course. And uh, let's go ahead and close this out. All right, I won't go through all of this, but the one thing you should do here is click this and go to Zorn. Um, yeah, go to the Zorn OS help website for some more uh, help and more documentation. If you are new, you should always read the documentation when you are trying something new in Linux. Of course, time and date. Sound settings with the music player uh, integration. And let's go ahead and see a quick look what the sound settings look like. Notice the blue theme. All right. All right, my internet, English keyboard. Of course, right click, preferences, and again, you can go here and change how this looks. The shortcut here, the shortcut, the quick launch of buttons, including the music player called huh, Music. Dum -dum -dum -dum. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, the file manager, it looks like uh, the uh, uh, Google uh, web browser is installed by default. And it says here, make Google Chrome the default browser. That's entirely up to you. You can just go ahead and click uh, start Google Chrome. I will not. All right, install Zorn OS. I thought I did. not There it goes anyway. Ah, uh, boy, I need to take some more cough medicine anyway. Um, yeah, install Zorin OS. Um, I won't go through the installation process. I've done these before, and I will continue to do them as I stated when necessary. And of course, the trash icon. Let's go to the start button or the Zorn orb, the Zorn menu. And again, this is click and go. I'll leave it up to you to look at all this that is installed in the uh, Ultimate Edition. You can download the free one which is called the core and install the software as you go but if you want them to do all the work for you which they have well you know why not uh, you know uh, cough up the uh, the 10 euros it's very inexpensive and this will give you a 
an ultimate operating system, as it were. Uh, I'm just going through the shortcuts here. The, let's see. Yeah, VLC uh, should be installed by default in all Linux operating systems. Certainly, you can install this also in Windows, and you should because it's one of the best. All right, system tools. You have some exclusive uh, stuff here. The background plus, look changer, splash screen manager, the Zorin theme changer. We have Wine. Uh, this will help you with random success installed uh, Windows software in Linux and the software center and places and some more shortcuts here. Again, self-explanatory. This, this is pretty much dummies proof. Um, if you can't figure this out, then you probably need more help than I can give you and I say that with all the possible friendship and respect that I can possibly be giving you doing uh, something like this. Um, yeah let's go through here. I wanted to show you just a couple things. The uh, the look changer is pretty cool and in the ultimate edition this will give you six different options on the default look of your desktop. We are in Windows 7 mode but let's say want to try something different Ubuntu's Unity which is my personal uh, desktop Linux desktop of choice at least on my uh, PC I have different ones too but this is going to give you a slightly different look with this panel here to the left this is uh, the Cairo uh, sorry not the Cairo dock but the just called something called docky again right click settings and you can add little uh, applets or in this situation docklets again just little um, shortcuts widgets NPR you know streaming radio is very nice I listen to that on my smartphone alright you can rearrange these um, shortcuts here as you see the system settings this would be uh, something similar to the control panel in Windows and if you click the red icon you can you can get out of that click the start button at the top this will give you something that resembles unity looks a little bit more like the uh, the gnome shell the default the current gnome 3 shell look and if I go here the top and just type in look we can go back to the look changer <coughs> pardon me and we can go back to the um, Windows 7 look as you see here and it'll go back to the default setting uh, which is what it would look when you first install this including putting the uh, panel here at the bottom all right well I do need to take a little bit more cough medicine but let me just say you know once again if you are um, looking for an upgrade um, something different from your Windows XP machine that might be the machine itself might be slightly outdated but if you have a little, at least a gigabyte of RAM uh, I think Zorn the ultimate edition should work okay if you have uh, less than that, less than a gigabyte of RAM, take a look at the Zorn uh, OSD Lite Edition. I'll have the links below in the show notes, but this definitely should be a consideration. Uh, if you wanted to try a Linux-based um, operating system, this is the website here. And as I stated, I'll have uh, links below in the show notes. All right, well, that's it for this. Um, yeah, if you haven't already, please vote. Would you buy a Linux PC? And if you bought a new piece of technology, uh, something that you use, such as a smartphone or uh, PC, and would like to tell us about it, please do. Uh, just go to the TotalOS Today dash shop website. Again, I will have all the links below in the show notes. Feel free to leave uh, any comments or any requests. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. All right, thank you for your patience for listening to my voice. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in your Linux future. Thank you.